Hello, in this video we show you how to customize your home and lock screen on the LG G2. So here we've got our home screens on the G2, but these are fully customizable. We don't need to leave them the way they are or the way they come out of the box. And there's quite a few ways in which you can do this, but the primary way is to press and hold on an empty space on the home screen and you'll get this option come up. And it's here that we can select apps, widgets and wallpapers and we can customize each of our home screens. So let's start with wallpapers. Now we've done another video primarily on wallpapers, but it's quite straightforward in the fact that you can select from some pre-installed ones, or you can select from your gallery or live wallpapers. So at the moment we've got this effect going on up here, but let's say we want this wallpaper. We tap on it once and it changes the wallpaper for us. Let's say we want a widget, so we can scroll through the widget options and we press and hold on the one we want and we drag it up to the screen we want to add it to or we can move it across to different screens like so and that's it there on the home screen I can add an app so let's say I want to put um, a calendar shortcut on a different screen well I can't add it there because that that screen is, is full but I can drag it around to another screen and I can put it there for example and let go and then I'm back here. So that's the primary way to uh, actually change a lot of the settings on your home screen. You can pinch on the screen like that to set which is your home screen. So if I want to change this screen which is currently my home screen and make this screen my home screen I click set default home screen, tap that and now when I press the home button, I go to this screen instead. But if I want to change it, I pinch out, set the default home screen, select the one I want, and I'm then done. I can also do things by like pressing and holding on things that are already on the home screen, and then perhaps move them to the bin if I want to get rid of them. Or if I want to put the gallery shortcut on a different screen, I move it around like so, and move it about. So that's one way of doing it. We've also got the lock screen. So when the phone is switched on for the first time, what we see here, now you can see that's quite different to our home screen and we've got shortcuts down here, but we can control that. Now to do that, you need to go into the settings menu and that's via a shortcut from your home screen, from the apps tray or from the notification bar. And under display, you've got an option for lock screen and there's a few options under here but it's whether you've got things like uh, the weather animation you can select the wallpaper for the lock screen either from a wallpaper gallery or the phone gallery of images we've taken so we can go and make it the same as our home screen so i choose the one i want and click set wallpaper that's the wallpaper changed i can also click shortcuts and change what shortcuts appear at the bottom of the screen. So at the moment, we've got the phone, messaging, notebook, and Google. Well, I might want to get rid of Google or move it. So I can move it around by pressing, holding, and dragging. Click the little settings icon, and I can get various other shortcuts that I may want to put in its place. So let's say I want the FM radio. I click FM radio, and that Google is now changed. If I was to click it again, I could even delete the shortcut. And now I've only got four shortcuts on the lock screen. So when I'm happy, I can click save. So the lock screen will have changed. If I just come uh, back out, I've also got the home screen options within the settings menu. And this is again where we can change a lot of the options from the wallpaper to the theme. We can also do a bit more and change the swipe effect so we've got uh, breeze at the moment but the accordion and you'll see a little demo on screen of how then when we pan around the screens the screen will change so let's change that to carousel then if we come back out and go to the home screen now when I scroll can you see how the home screens are changing in a different way because we made that change within the settings menu that's not something we could do from the home screen here itself in these options we've had to go into the settings menu so then if we go to the lock screen press the power button 
press it back on, you'll see how the lock screen has now changed with the same wallpaper that we selected in the settings menu. We've got the various shortcuts here and we just press and hold and drag that one to go into that shortcut. And then watch carefully as I put the uh, screen on again. You get a little animation for the weather and that's because we had that switched on uh, within the settings. So that's a video showing you the main ways to control uh, and customize the home and lock screens on the LG G2.